there besties we have to talk of course like i said in the video with monique's son that monique and her husband had to come to the internet to respond back to said son now help me understand why is it that you need to come to the damn internet to address your son this is the problem monique is the problem y'all okay monique is the problem if, if Monique hadn't originally said a thing about the daggone son, he would have never came out. Child, I didn't even know she had a damn son. I don't even think I knew she had damn kids. But it looks like Monique's husband, Sidney, explains why he doesn't allow her oldest son, Shalon, to refer to him as dad. Child, why do we need to know this? These people make these problems. These Monique and her husband is no different than Blueface, Krishan, and Jaden Alexis. And honestly, not even Jaden Alexis, Krishan and Blueface. It's like they got to do whatever and do the most in order to stay on the blogs and to command and demand somebody's damn attention. And I'm not saying that it's not working. At the same time, why does anyone think that no one wants to work with Monique? Now, mind you, there was all this support a few days ago when she was on Club Shay Shay. Everybody was support, 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 support. Now, now, as usual, because you know you colored, you black, you Ebony's are so damn fickle. You can't stand on business. It's whatever you feel at the daggone time. My opinion of Monique has not changed. She can do all of my babies. I'm doing it for them. Blah, 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 blah. You come off, no matter how fake nice you sound, as if you've been wronged, you've done everything right, and everyone else is the problem. It's just typical. It's just typical. So when it comes to who are the regulars, Tyler, Oprah, Lee, Lionsgate, Precious, child, these sound like buzzwords, I'm telling you, for the political system. This is crazy. Why do they not want my husband there? He's my manager. Mo Monique, that might be the problem. Monique, maybe you should get an independent manager who's not emotionally involved with you. And maybe that will go better for your career. Because all he does is feed into you. Maybe DL does have a, have a, um, a point where you got him speaking for you as your husband. And you go along with whatever he says. And he's thinking of it from the perspective of your husband. You need someone to be thinking about it from the perspective of business. Shout out the on-site. It says, starting to think, I know why Auntie Mo played the role of Precious so well. Mm, mm, mm. What? Don't be that. I'm sorry to be chuckling. When I hear you, when I hear my son, when I hear you, Shalon, talk about money <laughs> and, I, and stuff, it's like, baby, as I told you when you were younger, I told you as a man, don't let nobody introduce you to me. You know who your mama is. Girl, and what? Folks speak in reference to calling your seed. Sometimes, especially when your seed decided to call things off with you because you didn't move for a 34-year-old, 32-year-old man um, in the time that he wanted to do because you as a mother, you as an entertainer, you as an actress, you as a uh, grandmother, you as a wife, a lot at the time to see him, but he pushed you away. But then when it's time for him and it doesn't work for you, now it's a problem. Listen, it comes a point in time where when you become a man, when you become a woman, it is your obligation to do for you, Come to do for you. At 31, brother, 32, I'm sitting there on a conversation at the behest of your mother. Why? For you, because I love my nephew and we still left, uh, love you, Shalom. That's why your mother and your father interact with one another to let them be aware of what's happening with you. So if you think you're not loved, that's because you're not paying attention and there are other dynamics that fall into play in which we completely understand. And for you too, we're going to keep the light on for you. But I find it extremely ironic 
that the last time you saw me, you wanted to be able to call me dad. What? What? And I couldn't allow you to call me dad because there's only one dad in your life. And he's a friend of ours. Come on. He's a friend of ours. So come on. Don't be that. I'm sorry to be child. Yo, this sounds half damn crazy. I'm sorry, it sounds all the way damn crazy. First of all, there's a lot of gobbledygook going on in here. Child, why is this man doing so much conversating instead of you, Monique, first of all, most importantly? Why is it that we need to know that you, the the child wanted to call you, the kid, the, the, the son wanted to call you dad and you said no? Why do we need to know this? Why do we need to know this? So you... Sydney, Monique, and the daddy are friends, but the son is on the damn outside. Now, I am a firm believer in F them kids if they are unappreciative, but I didn't hear Shalon ask for any money. I didn't hear them say, him say anything except for keep my effing name out your effing mouth. That's, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. So why this need to come? This, in my opinion, proves how much of a problem Mon uh, Monique and her husband are because you got to get the whole world to try to be on your side when it comes to your son first of all let it go if he's a problem let it go you didn't need to address it but then you're going to come out here and try to shame blame him you're going to come out here and try to shame blame him and of course it's uh he want the money he want the money he want the money Man said that him and his wife and his child is all good in the hood. And if you wanted a relationship with the grandkid, you act like you don't. Honestly, Shalom, I wouldn't want her to be anywhere near me, let alone definitely not this man here. Monique's husband is the problem. Monique is a problem. Lest we not uh, not give her the credit, Monique been a problem. But Sydney is a bigger part of her problem as well. She want to be led. Listen, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. This is crazy. Everybody can be married however the hell it is that they want to be, okay? Is is this the type of man that someone would want in a daggone life to be their father figure anyway? I guess he wanted and was desperate for something. Why would he be looking at you for being a, a, a dad to him? What's going on with his actual dad? He didn't speak on that. At least I don't recall him doing that. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. You know, again, Monique and Sydney ain't doing nothing wrong. They perfect. They don't take no accountability. But everybody won't be mad because D.L. Hughley has taken accountability for the things that he has done wrong. And he not going to allow Mo to uh, do and say whatever the hell it is that she want on his name either. But everybody got a problem with damn D.L. Hughley. Not, I'm only talking about the fact of this particular situation. Nothing else. Nothing else. So why is it? That DL can be dogged out, but no one can see what the heck it is that Monique is doing right. Anyway, so let's take a look at these comments. First one says, everybody in this comment section crazy that her whole husband and manager and he not going to let that grown 38 year old drag his wife. He know the truth. Why not be by her side? He right where he's supposed to be because they two of one kind. And they feed off of each other. They both miserable. Like what? Like what does what does Sydney do? DL is absolutely right. He get paid by Monique. That's it. That's all. What else does he do? What does he do in his life when he's not allegedly managing Monique? He managing her out of absolutely everything, and nobody seems to want to see that. Keep your personal out of it. If it's not working out, get a neutral party. But what the hell do I know? Next person said the husband is the problem in the story. Finally, this is not what y'all was saying, though, a few days ago after Club Shay Shay. We stand with Monique. We stand with Monique. Monique, yeah, girl, you did a good thing. Stand up for black women. Stand up for black women. Now, all of a sudden, here we go here. Y'all done changed up. This one says, Sydney has been in this child life since he was little. He's always been known as Uncle Sydney because him and real dad know each other. And Sydney wasn't going to allow him to call him dad and disrespect the biological father. Comprehension is so low. I ain't got a problem with that. The question is only, is there an issue with the actual father? That's it. I'm not listening to Carlissa Angelic. Next comment says, why do he got to be there every time she speak? It's giving brainwash or cult or some ish. I agree. It's like he's, he's, what is that dude way back in the day with the puppet? 
the ventriloquist, the ventriloquist, it, uh, Lester, something in Lester. Child, that's what this looked like. That's what it's giving, I agree. This one says, first of all, this young man's plea was for his mother to stop lying about where they are in real life. Exactly. He, she brought his name up or brought him up. I, something like she only has three sons when she really has four. We looked at, or I looked it up. She got four. It was triggering for him. I believe him. They brought racial oppression, slavery, the sweet babies and everything else into a situation that clearly needs a genuine apology and changed behavior from his mother. They led with the things they bought for him or gave him. Then they spoke on how well they get along with his bio dad. So what? Why is daddy even speaking on this since he is uncle? This just speaks to the dynamic her son had to deal with. Monique has taken no accountability for anything. This seems to be a pattern. Finally, some people might be seeing it. This has been known since for damn ever. I don't know why people can't see that this woman just, she does everything right according to her. She is still bringing up stuff from 15 damn years ago with billionaires. Man, they, ma'am, they do not care about you. If you got that much of a problem, sue them. But she won't do that, right? But she love us for real. She love everybody for real, but she ain't doing right by her son while she on the internet with this daggone man looking half damn crazy. The tip, they tiptoed and pee popped all around what her son really said, which was you have four children, but you only claim three. The three you had with daddy, apparently. He didn't defame Monique, call her out of her name, and he did not. He wished her well, and he wished his siblings well. He just said, stop playing in my face. Exactly. Please remember, y'all, everyone who had kids was not made to be a mother or a father. Clearly, Monique lacked those skills with her oldest, and as much as she wants to hold everyone accountable, that breathed on her wrong. She needs to look in the mirror because the pain hits different when you feel like your own mama don't love you, but you see her loving her other kids, and honestly, this man on the screen as well, lest we not forget that. He got to be in meetings. He got to be by my side. He is everything. That's my daddy. We got an open marriage. I'm okay with it. He the man for me. He everything, baby. Tiffany, you don't have a husband. You don't have a husband. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have a husband. Child, this is why people don't want to get married. Looking at mess like this, I wouldn't have blame you if you thought that this is the way that it was. Anyway. Next one says, wait, he won't allow his stepson to call him daddy, but he's okay with Monique calling him. Child calling him daddy. The dynamics are weird. Have been, always have been, and continue to be. He has greatly affected her career in a negative way. And I don't understand why she can't see it. I don't understand why she can't see it. Monique has already done enough, but then you add him to the daggone list, that makes it even daggone worse. And I don't feel a bit of empathy or sympathy for her nor him. Good luck to her son, though. And hopefully he is honestly healed and stays out of this mess. But it doesn't help that you as the grown mother and alleged uncle come to the damn internet like looking like crazy ass people to address a person that you could have called on the daggone phone. Don't tell me that attention is not a drug and that is what these people want right here. It's not endearing you to anyone in Hollywood. It's not endearing you to Lionsgate. It's not endearing you to Tyler Perry. It's not endearing you to Oprah. It's not endearing you to Lee Daniels. It's endearing you to no one. And all you're doing is making it worse for your daggone self. Monique, always the victim, never the person who has to take any responsibility for any damn thing. That's it. That's all. Go ahead and subscribe to this daggone channel. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment. I see you all in the next one. We do not care.